Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is have a look at um, revising and have a look at how we deal with the um, tree diagram question and probability question. Um, it could be many different situations here. Um, the situation I've got, very simply, there are 40 monkeys in the shop, 18 red, 22 blue. Okay. Um, in the in the exam, it could be absolutely anything. It could be well, I've seen questions where it's like rolling sixes and not sixes, um, things like um, terriers, things to do with crafts. But um, I've got them for monkeys. Why not? Eighteen of them red, twenty-two of them blue. So 40, forty monkeys in total. Now the first question is that I pick two monkeys from the forty. Draw a tree diagram and find the probability of picking a red and blue monkey in that order. Now this is should be a straightforward jobby. So um, if we draw a tree diagram, um, the first branch is going to be whether it's red or blue. Um, yep. Text box there. So the probability of it being red is going to be um, so it's P of and I'll put R because that stands for red, um, is going to be, in this case, 18 out of 40. Okay, we won't simplify them yet, okay? That becomes a bit easier to simplify at the end. Um, the probability of blue is going to be 22 out of 40. Okay, so that's the first branch. That's the first monkey. first monkey has been picked. Um, now we need to do the second monkey. Okay, so have a branch there so that this is the, the the universe where we picked a red first and this these branches represent the universe where we picked a um blue first now probability of a red now we've already taken one out so there's only going to be 39 to deal with um we've taken a red out so it'll be 17 reds out of 39 okay um for blue we'll have the probability of a blue one being, well, there's still 22 in there because we've only picked a red out in this universe at 39, okay? Now in this universe we've picked out a blue, so the probability of then picking out a red is going to be equal to, well, 18, there's still 18 reds in there, and they'll be at, at 39. And finally, the probability of taking a blue is going to be, um, 21 because there are 21 blues now because we've just taken one out over 39. Okay, right, we're all looking good. So this is prob. So now let's um, go along the diagram and finish our probabilities. Um, this branch represents having a red and a red, and get a calculator out here as well because I can all be bothered to do this in my head. Um, and you got a calculator, so it's not really cheating. No. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but there we go. Right, so if we multiply these probabilities together, red, then red, we'll get the probability there. So 18 times by 17 gives us 306. I'm just going to type that down. 306 out of, um, and it's 40 times 39. Fractions are dead easy to multiply. Um, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm sure that could be simplified. Um, so that's 1560, but I'm not going to deal with that until right at the end, okay? So I'm going to copy and paste that because this will save me a tiny bit of time. This one here, however, is when we have a red and a blue. And it's still going to be over 1560 because the denominators are the same, but now I need to do 22 times 4, 18. Um, so 22 times 18 is 396, and we're being happy now, 396, okay. Um, the next one is going to be if we do a blue and then a red, so let's change that, and we've got 22 times 18 again, so that's for 306 as well, so that actually shouldn't ch change, 22 over 40 times 18 over 39 is still going to be there. Our final one, whoa, what's gone there? Mega. Our final one, let's copy and paste that. Our final one is going to be blue, blue. Okay, so, favourite kind of monkeys. Um, 22 times 21. 462. So, there we 
have it. Now we can always check to see if we're right by adding up these prob adding up these probabilities here and making them one. And we can always check that. And I think I actually that should be three nine six. Yeah, sorry, my mistake there. Well done if you've spotted that. Um, we could just check that. So four six two plus three nine six plus three nine six plus three oh six one five six oh which is exactly what we wanted it because then these probabilities add up to one now what we're after let's get the old highlighter out to no know where the highlighter is there it is is we're finding the probability of picking a red and blue in any order so that represents red blue and blue red okay that represents those two probabilities so by adding these probabilities up by adding these probabilities up we can let's get a red black we can, by adding these probabilities up we can get the probability of picking a red and blue in any order okay so that's pretty straightforward it's two dots of three nine six which is seven nine two So the probability is 792 over 1, 5, 6. Well, that's a tiny 6. Trouble doing it with them um, mouse pilots. I don't like that 6. Let's make that a little bit more 6 like. There we go. Okay, 792 over 1560. Now we could, now we should simplify that actually, if, we, if I'm being totally honest. Um, I've got a calculator up, which will do that at the minute, so that's a little bit irritating. Um, let's see, um, seven. So you use your calculator. I mean, these calculators are excellent, you know. This one not so good, but the calculators you've got in your hands, whether it be Casio or Sharp, you know, which ones I prefer. Um, but they'll do the simplification for you. Um, can no be bothered to simplify that. I mean, that's what I get up because this isn't so nice, but. Um, you would you could be able to simplify that fraction if needs be okay so that's the first quest question um picking two monkeys draw a tree diagram now that works fine tree diagram works fine for that because we don't have to we, there's only two monkeys we're picking out the next question is where we're picking up four monkeys okay what we want to do we do with these monkeys as long as that we, we we don't care okay as long as it's um within the rules of, set out by the rspca um we don't care, but the point is with the tr probability tree diagram, this becomes a right old mission now because we've got to go Bosch, Bosch, that's the third monkey, then we've got to do the fourth monkey there, and we've got to do that on every single one, and blink neck, we're going to be here till kingdom come, the exam will be over by the time we've sorted all that out. So that is not the way we're going to deal with this. Um, so if I'm just going to get rid of all that, okay. What's the pr probability of picking a blue, blue, and then a red, red in that order? I've just got a message. Um, did I really say it in that way? And anyway, never mind. Um, so, blue, blue, then a red, red. And this is not too bad, not as bad as you'd think, okay? Let's do the, so we're going to get a blue first. So that's 22 out of 40 for the first one. Then we're going to multiply by another blue so we've already picked one out so it'll be 21 over 39 then we're going to multiply another one but this time it's of two reds okay now we've got 18 reds in the pot still so it'll be 18 out of 38 i'm not suggesting for one minute it's a cooking pot and we're going to eat these monkeys again the rspca will have mega issues with that the final red well we've already picked one out so it'll be 17 times by 37 Okay, so, so what? 17 divided by 37. Now, <clears throat> this is our probability which we need to do, calculate. Now we, we can just put, whack it straight into our calculator if you've got a good one. So I'm going to do 22, I'm going to do numerators first. 22 times 21 times 18 times 17. Uber number 141372. Um, one four one three seven two and it's going to be divided by all the denominators multiplied together so 40 multiplied by 39 multiplied by 18 multiplied by no that wasn't multiplied by 18 so i can just undo that by dividing by 18 
So, and then I want to times that by 38 and times it by 37. So, 2 million, 2193360. Now, that fraction is clearly going to simplify. That fraction there is clearly going to simplify, but for the sakes and purposes of this video, um, that could be a little homework if you like. Put that into a calculator and simplify that. Um, it's a probability. Um, it's a pro quite a small probability. Um, quite a small probability indeed, but because obviously picking four monkeys, the number of different ways we could do it is, is endless. Um, in fact, that's another question in itself. Um, not really, it's a probability question, but involving perms. How many ways can we pick um, the four monkeys from there? Now, interesting question this. Not necessarily what you'd get in the exam. I'll do this in red because we, we you know, we're not too sure about, um, well, this isn't part of the question which I'll put up there. But how many ways can we pick those four monkeys from the 40? Now, how you deal with this is you'd work out all the different combinations of having blue and red. Okay, let's, and I'll show you how complicated this actually is. Um, so we could have red, 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 red. We could have red, 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 blue. We could have red, red, blue, red. We could have red, blue, red, red. We could have blue, red, red, red. Okay, so there's the ones where there's just one blue. Now where there's two reds. So we could have red, red, blue, blue. But we could have the red, the blue splitting the reds up like that. Um, we could have the blues splitting them up like that. We could have the blues red, red, blue. And finally, we could have blue, blue, red, red. Now let's have it where there's three blues. So it'll be blue, 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 red. I've just got a phone call. One second. Sorry about that. Just got a phone call. Um that maths teachers are popular and um, so blue blue red blue and um, look at that straight back into it no faffing blue 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 red and then red blue 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 and finally blue 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 now there are all the different possibilities we could have of picking four out so that is just purely by um basically it's purely by just doing a list and all the outcomes how many you got there one two three five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They're all the different ways we could work um, of those, uh, picking them out, okay? Um, but that, that's by the by, really. So let's delete that because we're on question three now. Um, if I just get rid of that now, so work out the probability of that. Now we pick 10 monkeys. This is mental. 10 monkeys. Why on earth would you pick 10 monkeys? Don't ask, don't ask um, why, just do, okay? Now, what's the probability that I pick at least one blue monkey right now? The probability of at least one blue monkey now. I use a little rule here. Now, basically, there's a tree diagram here where it's gonna, you're going to have ten different monkeys. So there's one monkey, um, there's two monkeys, there's three monkeys so on and so forth for 10 times now this is you're going to be here for a long long time if you're going to do it that way um you won't get it done in the exam i guarantee you so let's make that a bit bigger um we've got a little thing here and at least one monkey now it's a really useful thing to do here is going to be equal to now of all those possibilities okay one of them is not going to have a monkey blue monkey in Okay, and that's going to be none of them blue. Okay, that's the probability that none of them are blue. So, out of all those possibilities, uh, probably of at least one blue monkey is one minus the probability of none of them blue. Now, to work that out, it's actually quite quite a lot of long calculation, but it's definitely you can still do it. Okay, Prob the, so picking the none blue is the same as picking them all red. Okay, picking none blue is probability of all red. So we'd have 18 over 40 multiplied by 17 over 40 multiplied by 16. Oh, sorry, not over 40, over 39. 
multiplied by 16 over 38. Okay, now this is going to go all the way until I picked the tenth one. Um, 38. So 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eventually up to 9. All over 31. Okay, so the final monkey will be 9 over 31. Okay, so it's multiplying all those probabilities. Notice the denominators go down and the numerators go down. Now, that is a long, you've got 10 different problem fractions to add up, which is totally doable in a calculator. How I'm, I'm going to be a bit sneaky about this, though, and this just demonstrates the power of a factorial function. Because I could write this, so basically this is all the numbers, 18 all the way down to 9. So I could write that, the numerators is basically going to be 18 factorial divided by, well, 8 factorial, okay, this will give me 18 times 17 times 16 all the way to times 9, that's the numerator, okay, and I need to divide that by the denominator, and that was 40 factorial, divided by, well, we went to 31, so we want to divide it by 30, 30 factorial, okay, so that makes it a lot easier, basically, it's going to make it a lot easier, and I'll put the brackets there just to show what I mean a bit more, um, so let's do that lovely old job and now my calculator is probably going to be able to deal with this bit there so 18 factorial divided by 8 factorial and we get that huge number good wanted that to be massive right I'm going to divide it by 40 factorial and then times it by 30 factorial. That is a horrible number. Um, but your calculator will be able to deal with that. It's basically 0.123455. Okay, now let's back to that one. That. So 8 times 10 to the minus 5. So there we have it. There's a probability of at least of it having at least one of uh, none, no blue monkeys. Let's get that straight. Um, but finally, we need to do one minus that. Okay, one minus that is going to give us let's just do it, um, one minus naught point one two three four five is naught point nine 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 five. Oh, it started raining. It's annoying. And there we have it. Probability of at least one blue monkey is that. Okay. Um, you could have done it just by putting those fractions into um, calculator. That wouldn't have been a problem. It doesn't take that long if you're good with your calculator. Or we could do it the fancy way using factorials. Either way, we get the right answer.